Hello YouTube, uh, this is uh, Captain Nav, I hope you are all doing well. Today uh, we're gonna fly uh, raw data ILS approach in uh, Frankfurt runway 25 left. So why is uh, raw data approach? Well basically it's a, a manually uh, flown approach without uh, flight data guidance. However we still uh, keep uh, the auto throttle on because flying without the uh, auto throttle is uh, dangerous and uh, we also use the flight path uh, vector for some guidance. As you can see on the uh, FMA, the uh, autopilot modes are still engaged. We have uh, heading select, alt, localizer and glide slope armed. So this is uh, quite good because uh, it gives us an indication as to what the aircraft is uh, doing. You might be uh, wondering what the point in uh, flying a road data approach is, since we have an autopilot and a flight director. Well, it's a good uh, exercise actually to uh, practice and develop your instrument scan and generally your flying skills. It is a commonly uh, used exercise in the world of uh, flight training. So we are on uh, intercept uh, heading to uh, the localizer 25 left. The glide slope is uh, now uh, alive and uh, we are uh, maintaining uh, 5,000 feet more or less. The key to uh, manual uh, flying is to uh, actually allow for some uh, variations in your altitude keeping and your heading keeping. If you are too uh, rigid and too uh, strict about it, then you will uh, over control the aircraft and uh, make your life uh, more difficult actually. You will notice I used the fly-by-wire trim uh, indication on the PFD. I like to uh, use it because uh, in the desktop uh, simulation you don't really feel the trim and with the joystick as well you don't uh, know exactly where the trim is. I remind you down the 777 you trim for speed and uh, yeah it's very difficult to know so uh, I like to uh, use it. Anyway the localizer is now uh, becoming alive and we'll wait until uh, the localizer deviation is about uh, half scale to initiate the turn. One uh, important point is to keep uh, all uh, control inputs uh, smooth and uh, gentle. So we have uh, about half scale uh, deflection now starting the turn. Uh, we'll, uh, as I said, uh, use a gentle uh, input. We've got a bank angle of about uh, 15 degrees maximum. Uh, for uh, the intercept turn, the localizer is now captured and from uh, now on we'll try to uh, keep uh, accurate uh, localizer tracking. We are just about to uh, capture the glide slope so uh, we want to uh, configure the aircraft now as uh, quickly as possible. Selecting speed 170. So speed uh, 170 and uh, the trim uh, comes uh, back to a 170 as well, glide slope captured. We'll uh, configure the gear and uh, flaps 20. Gear speed check. Going down. So the gear is uh, coming down. I'll we'll go for flaps uh, 20. Flaps 2-0 selected. As we uh, reduce the speed, it is important to uh, trim for that new speed. Flaps verified. What is the available runway today? Gear down and secured. I will go for flaps 30 now. Flaps 3-0 selected. And speed uh, 151. Selecting speed 151 is uh, important to uh, configure early so that we do not have uh, configuration uh, changes all the time and we can uh, uh, fly a stable uh, approach. If we change uh, configurations uh, all the time we'll uh, definitely make our lives uh, difficult. So we'll uh, get the management out of the way and do the landing checklist. Landing checklist. Flaps verified. I take it you know the runway in use. Speed brake armed. Landing gear down. Flaps. 30. Landing checklist completed. So now we can uh, concentrate on the flying. We have about 10 miles to go. And uh, we are looking uh, pretty good on the localizer and the glide slope. 
Uh, there are two ways to uh, track the localizer. The first one obviously is to follow the uh, localizer indication on the PFD. And the second one is to use the navigation display and uh, try to keep the track line centered on the magenta line and then when the runway symbol appears uh, keep it uh, centered on the okay, runway five, itself. Five. To fly the glide slope uh, you can obviously uh, try to keep a constant uh, pitch attitude and uh, also a constant uh, vertical uh, speed but uh, the fly path uh, vector can be uh, very uh, useful if you put the top uh, of the fly path vector on the horizon uh, which means that the, the wings of the flight path vector will be around uh, 3 degrees uh, nose down and uh, then that will uh, kind of uh, give you a good indication of uh, your glide path and uh, help you maintain the 3 degree uh, glide slope all the way down. So we are now uh, more or less uh, settled on the approach, just a little bit low on the glide slope but not by much. And uh, all we're gonna do now is uh, apply uh, gentle and uh, very smooth uh, corrections as uh, deviations uh, occur. If you apply uh, large uh, corrections then you are going to make your life uh, very difficult indeed. To spot any uh, localizer and uh, glide slope uh, deviations early and apply timely uh, corrections we uh, scan the instrument, so we look at the uh, pitch uh, attitude and the glide slope uh, indication, back to the pitch and then down to the localizer uh, indication, have a look at the uh, vertical speed and then uh, the navigation display and uh, where the track line is sitting. And uh, we keep uh, looking at the instruments uh, that way. The speed is uh, taken care of by uh, the uh, auto throttle, so we can look at it a little bit less often. At the moment we are slightly uh, right of the localizer but you can see on the navigation display that we are bang on the uh, magenta line and on the runway center line so that means that uh, we are actually uh, coming back towards the localizer so we don't have to actually chase the localizer and just uh, wait a little bit and see what's uh, gonna happen. As you can see on the navigation display the track line is uh, pointing at the left uh, side of the runway and the localizer indication is actually uh, now back to uh, the middle. This means we are slowly deviating and we need to uh, apply a gentle correction to the right to come back on the uh, localizer. Looking at the navigation display, we are now on the uh, center line, so that's good. We have uh, the localizer more or less centered, so we'll try to uh, lock uh, that uh, track and uh, keep it all the way down. The glide slope is uh, a little bit uh, above us so we're gonna slowly uh, decrease the rate of descent keep the localizer tracking looking at the navigation display the tracking is good we are now on the glide slope approaching minima we should uh, see the runway lights uh, fairly soon uh, keep the tracking going the rate of descent is good Here's the approach uh, lighting system. We can now look at it. The danger there is to uh, kind of uh, look up and uh, lose the rate of descent. We need to uh, keep concentrating on the uh, descent rate and uh, keep the center line above the threshold now looking good. And uh, flare and uh, touch down. So that's it, and the key to uh, fly uh, the approach, uh, as I said, is to uh, basically apply a very uh, smooth and very gentle corrections, keep a good instrument scan, uh, try to spot the deviations early and uh, apply these uh, gentle corrections. Basically, the less you use the controls, the better. So uh, I hope you uh, find the video uh, useful and uh, can uh, give you a few tips and uh, kind of uh, inspires you to uh, practice a little bit by yourself and uh, see how you get on. If you uh, like the video then uh, please uh, give me a thumbs up, uh, subscribe to see uh, more similar content and until the next time take care and uh, I will uh, see you soon.